you doing, good people? This is the 8-Bit Animal. And today we're going to talk about a thing that grew from another thing that is a thing in and of itself, right? So, in the early 80s, Escape, who later became known as Weststone, or was Weststone first and then Escape King? Either way, Escape or Weststone, whichever name you want to give it, released an arcade title on Sega Arcade Hardware called Wonderboy. That game got ported to the SG-1000 and later the Mega Drive. Well, Wonder Boy was incredibly popular. And Weststone, or Escape, decided, hey, we should capitalize on this. Make, make a little coin, right? They reach out to Hudson Soft. Because Hudson's like, we need a mascot. Bomberman ain't going to cut it, though we like Bomberman. And they strike up a deal with Escape or West Stone, whichever, to release a variation on Wonder Boy, right? They keep the, they strike up a deal, Escape or West Stone, which now we basically call it West Stone. They keep the rights to the likeness and name Wonder Boy. And Hudson can kind of take take the game and do what they want to do with it, right? And Hudson does that. And what we're left with is the first in a franchise that a lot of people don't even realize was another thing. It's kind of like in New Orleans, how everybody loved Hugh Big Pies. Turns out Hugh Big Pies were not originally from New Orleans. Wow, ain't it? This game is from 1987 here in the U.S. It started life in like 1986 over in Japan. And they didn't get it in Europe until like 1992. Incredibly weird. Today, we're going to take a quick look at Wonder Boy. Ugh, not Wonder Boy. Stupid. Hudson's Adventure Island. Now, in Adventure Island, you play as Master Higgins. Now, Master Higgins looks completely different from Tom Tom from Wonder Boy. Master Higgins wears a little cap and has this little stern look on his face and dark hair because he's made in the visage of Toshiyuki Takahashi, a former employee of Hudson Soft who kind of became a spokesperson of sorts that helped them sell their games. Well, Master Higgins is on a little, the typical rescue the damsel in distress quest. Um, this time he's rescuing Princess Leilani from some dude. I don't even know the dude's name. I just know that Master Higgins got to rescue Princess Leilani from him. And it's a standard platform where everything is in a straight line. There's no real scrolling. That stuff comes later in the franchise. This is just literally a straight line with some pitfalls. And Master Higgins is initially unarmed. You find an egg, you break it, you get a stone axe. You keep finding eggs, you get better weapons, you get skateboards to improve your maneuverability which is also weird because little caveman dude you also for some inexplicable reason get an eggplant and if you collect the eggplant it drains your health um you collect fruit to get point bonuses you can find a little a little fairy girl with wings that follows you for a short period of time she's a lot like the star man in mario um, you find a little, this little pot with a face on it that gives you a point bonus. Um, there are bonus levels, the every fourth stage is a boss fight. It's so much like Mario. It's 
kind of kind of eerie but it doesn't it doesn't scroll like this the levels are legitimately a straight line with some pitfalls but it's a cool game um it showed us what early platforming on a console could look like early scrolling platforming um outside of mario beyond mario even and it's a solid video game a really fun little platformer and something that i truly feel like everybody should get a chance to play um there were four games on the nes in this franchise only three of them got released here in the states and the fourth one you can easily find via um via reproduction carts or if you find the kind soul that is selling um is selling a copy but it's gonna cost you a whole lot this one not so much if you're interested in a copy of adventure island the first one at least um i've seen copies go for as low as a dollar and a half so like anywhere from a buck fifty to like ten fifteen dollars you can get a copy of adventure island right it's a really great game it's a really great piece of gaming history uh because it tells one side of a really interesting little story involving licensing of a game and yeah adventure and to boot the franchise is really really fun super adventure island on the super nintendo the first one that soundtrack be slapping that soundtrack is dope you should check that out this one is bubbly and cute that one got some drums on it check that out <laughs> anyway this has been the 8-bit animal and i'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow one of the guys that actually showed up to be on Pro Stars. <laughs>